Stugatz, do you think you have a better stat than Chris Cody has? Because I've got two stats to counter both wow. of your dueling stats. Wow. Uh, who's got the better stat here, Chris Cody? You or Stugatz? I'm gonna have one of my. That'd be weird if I voted for Stugatz. So I'm gonna go with me. <laughs> no, I, I honestly think mine's the best. And he sent me his after, and it's solid. But I definitely have the winner. Okay. You should give the stats, and then we can decide. Hmm. All right, let's do I that. Like a preview. All right. Uh, Just so we're clear, you have two though. I have two, yes. So right. four stats. Wow. We've got four dueling wow. stats. I'm going to try uh, to beat whatever it is that Chris <laughs> Cody and Stugatz have. So go ahead and get us started, Stugatz. All right, Dan. Minnesota Vikings wide receiver Justin Jefferson needs only 235 more receiving yards to be the all-time leading receiver in Chicago Bears team history. He's 24. <laughs> That's a good stat. Uh, not as good as mine, though. The Yankees are 69 and 69. Nice. For the first time since 1969. Wow. Wow. A couple of 69s cutting it up. Easy. That was painful. Dan? I don't have in front of me the sourcing on this, so forgive me on this. It but doesn't matter. If. Stats are public domain. <laughs> right. If, I didn't source mine. I mean. If Pete Rose. Charlie Hustle. Were to come out of retirement right now and go 750 for his next 750, he would still have a no, lower oh for batting average than Tony Gwynn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Billy, what did you decide to get in there I think with? He's right, though. We thought that you were going like if he didn't get a single hit for the next 750 something at bats, that his batting average would still be higher than someone else. By the way, the idea that Pete Rose could come out at 70 years old and go <laughs> 750 for 750 is insane. Like, who would think that that's something that could happen? I think Pete Rose is 80 something, isn't he? I have a stat. Do you want the stat? Sure. We need Dan's other one. Yeah, first. Dan has two. Well, I'll share it after Dan's. I'm just saying I have a fifth stat. I have a sixth stat. I'll go after that. Wow. Billy. Mo Salah has six yellow cards in his Premier League career. Four of them are for taking his shirt off and celebrating. <laughs> if, you, if, you saw, if you saw his body, you would understand why he keeps doing that. <laughs> what is the other stat that you have, Billy? Clayton Kershaw's career ERA is 248. He's, the, pre he's pretty good. The lowest oh, ERA the by anyone in the league this year with a qualifying ERA is 250. So his career ERA is better than any pitcher this year. Mm -hmm. And who is it? Is it Cole? Is it Snell? Who's no, it's Strider. Oh, okay. Do it in the postseason. <laughs> that guy. That guy, it feels like 99 miles an hour is coming out of a mustache. When that guy Everybody hates the Braves, I'm telling you. <laughs> I have a stat, too. Oh, for the love wow. of All right, I mean, what is your stat? Yeah, Quickly, yeah. Rose is 82, by the way. My stat is Andre Drummond is the greatest rebounder by rebound percentage in the history of the NBA. He grabs 25% of all available missed shots when he's on the floor. That means for every four misses that are happening when Andre Drummond's in the game. He gets one of them. He's getting one of them. <laughs> wow. Good that is Chris. crazy because that player should be more valuable. If I if I told you, Stugat, in that stat I think might be the best one I've heard so far. If I told you that the guy who's available is better at rebounding than anyone ever, wouldn't teams be fighting over him? Well, he thinks he's a Hall of Famer, but this is a conversation <laughs> for another day. But how is that? Is there something deceptive about those numbers, or is he the greatest? Well, he's great at offensive rebounds, too, which right. helps. But the, that stat that you gave, I don't think most people listening to this would say Andre Drummond is the greatest rebounder in the history of the sport. Uh, well, I mean, it should be noted that this number only starts in, like, 1970, so because we don't know what Wilt and Bill Russell were doing rebound percentage-wise. But most people, if you say who's the greatest modern rebounder, they'd say Dennis Rodman. He rebounds better than Dennis Rodman. Ooh. Jessica, do you have something better than that? Miami is offering BOGO ticket special for this weekend. Fans who purchase a ticket oh, for the Texas A&M game right. will get a ticket to the Georgia Tech game oh, on October wow. 7th. <laughs> I'm going to the Georgia Tech game. I could have I got a free ticket out of it. We have not talked college football. Free three, $3 ticket to the Georgia Tech game. I have another stat, Dan, if you want it. Oh. If Kevin Durant wins the next five NBA championships, he will still have less rings than Michael Jordan. This is why we played the long version. I have a stat, too. Oh, wow. 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 What a day. What a 
Lucas Giolito is the first pitcher to allow eight plus runs in a game for three different MLB teams in the same season since Bill McGee, who did so in 1899. Uh. <laughs> I'm worried about him. Bill McGee disappeared. What? Yeah, Bill McGee, wow. the last guy where this happened in 1899, disappeared. Ooh. Did he disappear right after it happened? Eight years later in 1907, okay. <laughs> hanging out with his family, disappeared. Was okay. it part of a magic trick? <laughs> I don't know, but huh. we got to be worried about Lucas Giolito. In eight years. September 6th of right. 2000, whatever. How did 